Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP ProBook 440G11. To gain access to the internals of this small business machine, you have to undo just five captive Phillips head screws. Use a thin plastic tool to pop the back and the top two corners. After that, pry the sides and the front. The device that we bought has the optional 56 watt hour battery. The base model has a 48 watt hour capacity. To remove it, Pull out the connector towards the battery, rotate the two blue latches on the bottom, and lift the unit away from the chassis. The capacity is enough for around 11 hours of video playback. Our test was conducted with the battery saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu. You can pop the metal shield above the RAM section with a lever tool. According to HP, the two SODIMs can handle up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Each module is additionally cooled by a thermal pad from below. The Wi-Fi 6E card can be seen next to the cooling. The storage upgradability is limited to just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe is covered with a metal plate that is held in place by two screws. The shield houses a thermal pad on the inside. The W1 slot for optional 4G LTE connectivity is on the left. The thermal system seems basic. It has one large fan, a heat pipe, one heat sink, and a heat spreader. 